Hey guys, Reckless here, back to our video. In this video, we're gonna make this retro kind of style future house scenes, like M4. So the final result will sound like this. So if you more presets like this, make sure to take future selection from two. In the preset pack, you can fit more other presets in this selected kind of style of music. So now we're gonna make the chords. And then we're gonna make the bass line, sounding like this. So first, let's take the preset. We've got a 4088 bass so Position around here. Then we're gonna put it up on octave. And shape the envelope like this. A little bit less sustain, some release. And we're gonna give some more attack. Just around here. Then we're gonna add some unisons. And detune the sound a bit with the envelope to the detune. By running the envelope to the detune, that will give the sound some more, some more human feel. So, so then we're gonna shape Asler B, go for the saw to square wave table, and select FM from B. And we'll give this kind of effect. So it's a bit too much, so around here. Now we're gonna add a filter, we're gonna go for the reverb filter. This will shape the sound a bit more. Like cut off around here, some more drive, some damp, and now we're gonna mix a little bit. Then the last thing we're gonna do in the oscillators is write add for one to fine tune of both oscillators. It's a bit ready too fast. Just give a more retro kind of vibe to the chords. So now let's have an effects. So first of all, we're gonna add a hyper animation with some hyper animation. Now we're gonna add some chorus with a high pass filter, sounding like this. Add some down sample to up the highs a bit more. Add some EQ to cut the lows to make room for the baseline. Sounding, I guess. Then some phaser effects. And to start some reverb. And delay. And that's it for chords, so now let's dive into the bass line. So now it's time to make a bass line. Sounding, I guess. It's quite a simple patch, so we're gonna make it from scratch. Select the preset. And go for the saw run into square. Put it down one octave. And shape envelope one like this. Then we're gonna route it to the wave table position. We'll give some more characters to the baseline. So now as layer B, we're gonna go for the sine wave. Lower down the octave and route envelope one to the wave table position to create some more movement in the baseline. Then we're gonna modulate it, so it's like FM from B. So we'll get some more harmonics to the sound. Put it up quite high, so we'll get some more. It's a bit too much, so we're gonna shape the filter with a low 24. Cut off quite low, and we're out envelope wants to cut off. So around here, some drive, fatness. Then we can add some more punch to the bass line, so create a short envelope and route to the chorus pitch. Sounding like this. Nest like mono, legato. And now we're gonna dive into the effects. So hyper dimension, we know hyper and a bit of dimension to open the bass line. Some tube distortion. So around here. That's my chorus. Just a little bit. Then we're gonna boost the sound with some EQ. So set a bell filter. I'm gonna boost it around here. So right envelope one to gain. And that's what it is for the bass line. So all together, sounds like this. And 
that's it for the video. So if you like the video, please leave a like. If you see more, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next videos.